Now, some of you guys may be wondering on why I'm an anti-feminist and why being an anti-feminist is a smart move. And I figured that I killed two birds with one stone because I am getting sick and tired of these feminists coming out of nowhere, uploading the videos that I seen almost every freaking day. I make the exact same fucking arguments such as why we need feminism. It's tiresome. So you know what? I'm going to use this video to use it as a video response to future feminist videos. Now this video will be quite educational for those who are unaware of feminism and those who are in support of feminism without question. So if you're one of those feminists and you're watching this video right now, I suggest you sit your ass down and listen. I have voices in my head, they counsel me, they understand, they talk to me. The advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Equality to men. The dictionary definition of feminism is the advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. For those of you who don't know, a feminist is just someone who believes in the social, political, and economic equality of the sexes. I'm to read it to you because people think it's just women not getting what they want. No, it's literally not. It's not just about freeing the nipple. It's not about that. It's about equality, okay? Like, literally, I'm going to read you the, the definition off of Google. Feminism, it's a noun. The advocacy of women's rights on the grounds of political, social, and economic equality to men. Now, whenever you see a feminist try to justify feminism, they're going to use the dictionary nine out of the ten times in order to justify a movement. A so-called a movement for equality. And of course, because the definition says it's for equality, Opposing feminism is the same thing as opposing equality. Anyways, let's turn our attention to the most confusing, unintelligent, uninformed category of them all. Women who are against feminism. Remember, feminism means equality to men. Equality. So this is basically women who don't want to be equal to men. Women who would prefer to be paid less money for the same job. Women who would prefer to not have the right to vote. Women who would prefer to be bought and sold by men like livestock. Women who believe that women are inferior to men. How absolutely insane do you have to be? Have you just not bothered looking up the definition? Do you actually think what you claim to? Here's an idea for all you women who aren't feminists. Next time you receive a check from your boss that's equal to a male co-worker's, refuse it. Tell them that you would rather be paid less because you're not a feminist. Next time elections come around, don't vote because you're not a feminist. If your dad tells you he wants you to marry some random dude, you have to marry that dude because you're not a feminist. The list of absolutely insane things that you have to do because you're not a feminist goes on and on. So my suggestion is try doing a little bit of research next time so you can avoid seeming so completely ignorant. Now what a charmer this guy is. He almost make me want to choke a puppy to death. Now this is totally and absolute utterly bullshit because of two reasons. One, feminism does not own the concept of equality. And yet you fucking feminists do this all the fucking time trying to justify feminism by simply stating that the dictionary says so. Two, there are groups of people out there who are in fact in support of equality, such as egalitarianists and humanists. And guess what? The definition for both of these things is basically equality. Now, having a common core belief such as believing in equality doesn't make you a feminist just in the same way as believing in a god makes you a Christian. Now, another reason why I oppose feminism is because of the paraxis versus theory argument, which means that the feminist paraxis does not meet its theory. The feminist theory is, if you look it up on Google, it says, Feminist theory is the extension of feminism into the theoretical or philosophical discourse. It aims to understand the nature of gender inequality. Now, back in the first and second wave movements, 
yes, there were some legit concerns that women were fighting, such as not being the, not being able to vote and not being able to drive, not getting equal pay for the exact same job, all that sort of stuff. But third wave feminism today is absolutely ridiculous. For example, we have Anita Sarkeesian who basically complains about how video games is normalizing violence towards women, which is absolutely and utterly ridiculous. Women shouldn't be mere disposable objects or symbolic pawns in stories about men. And not to mention, who can forget about this? This is Ban Bossy, take one. Pushy. Stubborn. Stubborn. Pushy. Pushy. Stubborn. Stubborn. Bossy. 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 When I was growing up, I was called bossy. I think the word bossy is just a squasher. Being labeled something matters. By middle school, girls are less interested in leadership than boys. And that's because they worry about being called bossy. Now, third wave feminism today has become so ridiculously stupid that they'll find anything that is sexist. Believe it or not, there was this one feminist that says that women waiting in line for the bathroom is sexist. What a maroon. <laughs> what an ignoramus. <laughs> you see, feminist theory today is poorly practiced, if not barely practiced at all. Now, the wage gap argument is something that feminists love to abuse the living shit off. And you know what? I think it's time that I put a rest to it. Every time I hear this wage gap argument, all I want to do is hit myself with a fucking hammer. So, in a nutshell, the common um, argument that feminists would say is that women are paid 23, th 23 cents less than a man on average. Which is absolute bullshit because there are multiple factors within uh, this so-called wage gap. First of all, the wage gap is not 23 cents. It's somewhere around at least five, if not less than five cents. And second of all, again, I like to point this out, that there are so many goddamn factors that it is nearly impossible to get an accurate wage gap. Now, those factors include, but not limited to, um, women being more likely to take part-time jobs, women more likely to take more sick days off, more uh, vacation days off. Um, let's see, what else? Men are more likely to negotiate higher pay. Men are more likely to work overtime. And women are more likely to aim for jobs that are safer. And that is not even half. I will link you to Skeptor's video on the wage gap so that way you guys can watch along with a few extra links explaining the wage gap. Rape and violence fucked up fast. One out of every five women will be sexually assaulted or raped by a man. One, two, three, four, five. Which one of us will it be? So how many more women have to get knocked down before society stands up and stops it? Now, the lies of Christina Hoff Summers has already debunked this. Um, she's a feminist herself. However, I will explain this in a nutshell. This so-called 20% of women are more are going to be raped. It's absolutely bullshit. Because this is such a ridiculous number that it doesn't even add up. It's absolutely bullshit on how feminists define rape. Um, if you were so-called pressured into sex and you give consent, then guess what? That is rape. Even if you're drunk just a little bit, if you have sex with a woman, and you know, regardless on if the woman is sober or drunk, it's still rape. 
In fact, a few feminists are willing to say that penis in vagina, even with giving consent, it is still fucking rape, which is absolutely blew my fucking mind. So hopefully you guys will take a look at Christina's Hot Summers video because it's absolute bullshit. Where in the media today, the one in five figure is based on a survey called the Campus Sexual Assault Study. But two prominent criminologists have noted fatal flaws. It had a very low response rate, a non-representative sample of respondents, and an overly broad definition of what counts as assault. I mean, it included such things as attempted forced kissing or intimate encounters while intoxicated. common core arguments that feminists love the cat calling argument you know men just you know commenting on your looks oh dear god words words some feminists will go as far as say if you look at a woman wrong then that's absolutely fucking sexist because they're not some sort of sex op First of all, how feminists define catcalling is absolutely ridiculous. Even just saying hello is considered catcalling towards these fucking cunt bags. And second of all, the ones that do in fact catcall, just, you know, say that you're beautiful and stuff, it's just fucking words. And also, you're under no obligation to acknowledge those people who catcall you. Okay? You're not. Now, feminists love to complain about how women are being used to sell products on how they're being sexualized in order to uh, encourage men to get certain items and stuff. People walk around all the time at the mall holding bags with men just like, you know, ripped and just flexing and like, you know, there was one I saw one time of a guy like pulling his pants down a little bit. Are all the girls walking around with those types of bags? Sexy. But this objectification goes both fucking ways. Now, some of you may believe that objectification is wrong either way. But guess what? You're still fucking wrong because it's something that's completely unavoidable. It's something that is a part of human fucking nature. Right now, I am being objectified as nothing more as entered. And it's and it is as old as time itself. I mean, for fuck's sakes, there are statues of naked men in Greek art. Statues! Just as much as we use women to sell products towards men, we use men to sell products towards women. So, it's a big massive double standard to complain only about female objectification. And don't even get me started with Aeneas Sarkeesian series, Tropes vs. Women in video games. Because guess what? In a nutshell, all I have to say is BULLSHIT! Now some feminists will try to justify feminism by going back in the past and say, look what the feminists have done in the past. Just look at it. The problem with this is that it's goddamn obvious that this is not the actions of third wave feminism, but rather the first and second wave of feminism. Not third wave. I mean, the past means nothing if today's feminists consist of nothing more than a bunch of women who complain on such stupid things as such as waiting in line for the fucking bathroom. The point is, is that there are very few feminists that call themselves first or even second wave feminists. 
those type of feminists do not rely on the same fucking tactics as third wave feminists, such as bringing up the wage gap argument and complaining about cat call. It's official. Feminism is a dying breed. They'll do anything to stay alive. Now, they're also going to bring up third world problems, which, of course, is in fact a problem. The problem is, is that they act like feminism is the ultimate cure. Like, you know, those people, they need feminism. Which sounds awfully familiar. You need Jesus in your freaking life in order for your soul to be saved. And there's also another fucking problem. And that is that most feminists tend to focus here in America where women are already fucking equal. Chances are is that these people really just don't care about him, but just bring it up and pretend to care anyway. And if these feminists truly did care about those women in third world countries, then maybe they should put a little bit more effort over there than over here, if you know what I'm saying. The sad truth about feminism is that very few feminists that are female have actually bothered to deal with any form of constructive criticism whatsoever. And it's a very, very rare thing for a female feminist to actually defend feminism against any form of criticism whatsoever. They will rather hide behind groups of people that would defend feminism to the death. Those people are fucking white knights. White knights such as Andrew Norton, Hobbes Justice, Unseen Perfidy, um, Hannibal the Vector, 13, Unworshipity, Sequest Zone, and finally, but not least, Bewilder Ape. So if you are a feminist, especially a female feminist, I pray, I pray that you actually have something that will debunk everything that I have to say in this video. I really am hoping that, especially the female feminists. Until then, I am the Atheist Gamer. Peace the game out.